So what happened to your eye, Bobby? What? You gotta dig for yourself, your eye. Difference of opinion. Mm. Here's the other fella. Well, that worse. Leave me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at actors who took a role so seriously that they lost a whole bunch of weight, often what appeared to be a dangerous amount. You wanna listen to my problems? Mm -hmm. The lungs are bleeding, the skin's crawling. Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer. You might have thought that of all of his collaborations with Christopher Nolan, it was his role as Scarecrow that would have required Killian Murphy to lose weight. You might say our paths crossed. While a Scarecrow might insinuate a slimmer being, the real J. Robert Oppenheimer was actually a rather emaciated person. So as the titular Oppenheimer in Nolan's 2023 film, Murphy took on the task of matching the physical look of the real guy. Can't keep a good man down. Doing so wasn't easy, and even according to Murphy himself, it wasn't particularly healthy either. While he hasn't disclosed the amount he lost, he did say that he had to lose quite a bit of weight, and he doesn't advise others to do what he did. Just because we're building it doesn't mean we get to decide how it's used. Chris Hemsworth, in the heart of the sea. Father, father, don't leave me, father. Based on the true story that inspired the novel Moby Dick, In the Heart of the Sea tells of a whaling ship attacked by a white whale and the struggles to survive as the crew battle the whale, the sea, and each other. Left with a few supplies, those who survive the initial attack grow more and more emaciated as the lack of sustenance takes its toll. Well, I'll send a boat for you the minute we get back. Yeah. And we'll play cards back in Nantucket, all right? Yeah, it's a deal. To portray that slow starvation, the film star Chris Hemsworth lost 33 pounds in one month consuming just 500 calories per day. While Hemsworth feels the emotional and physical toll was necessary to do the role justice, he, as he told Jimmy Kimmel, never wants to do it again. You've given me your word before, Mr. Mason. But this time I'll take it in writing. Matt Damon, Courage Under Fire. I couldn't bear to send this. Uh, I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to touch it. Matt Damon became a star in 1997 with the release of Good Will Hunting. Given that we hadn't seen much of Damon on the big screen yet, the slimmed down version of himself in 1996's Courage Under Fire probably didn't register with most moviegoers. However, to play his part as specialist Andro Ilario in the war drama, Damon dropped more than a few pounds. Depending on who you ask, the number is anywhere from 40 to 60. But regardless of where the truth is in that range, it's a whole lot. They do the damnedest things, you know, they never, they never think about the consequences. Imagine that. Imagine going through life without thinking about the consequences. According to Newsweek, he dropped the weight with a combination of his own made-up diet and running 13 miles every day. That's basically a marathon every two days. Morning, Colonel. Morning. You got some aspirins. Uh, how many do you want? I take uh, eight of these every day. Four is good. 50 Cent. All things fall apart. No one has to know the truth but us. It does not leave this room. Why is God doing this to me? All Things Fall Apart was a 2011 direct-to-video movie starring Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, about a talented college football player whose NFL dreams are dashed when he's diagnosed with cancer. As the film's lead, Jackson had to portray the character as the disease took its toll, which meant losing quite a bit of weight. We used to play Pee Wee League here together. There's always hope. But do you want to do it on your own terms? That's the question. To accomplish this goal, he went on a liquid diet and worked out up to three hours every day. The result saw 50 Cent go from 214 pounds to 160 pounds in just nine weeks. Oh, so I started with like the, the cayenne and lemon and oh, cayenne. Oh yeah, that, that diet, yeah. Yeah, and then that got a little bit, after the first week it was too tough for me to stick yeah. with that. Joaquin Phoenix, Joker. They think that we'll just sit there and take it like good little boys that we won't werewolf and go wild. Reshoots are a pretty common thing in the movie business, but not on the Joker set. It's all because of Joaquin Phoenix. It's not that Phoenix pulled some diva moves and refused to do them. Rather, as co-star Zossie Beats explained, Phoenix lost so much weight that they wouldn't have been able to go back later for reshoots. It was a prop. It's part of my act. I'm a party clown. It was director Todd Phillips' idea that the Joker character look hungry and unhealthy, like a malnourished wolf. To accomplish said look, Phoenix reportedly didn't eat much more than an apple a day, a diet that, by his own admission, made him go mad. One small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? Adam Driver, silence. Are we giving up? Is that what we're doing? Are we running away? No. After people have died for us? They did not die for us. Garupe, they did not die for us. Silence is the story of two Jesuit priests who journey from Portugal to Japan in the 17th century searching for their mentor. A trip like that, especially centuries ago, would no doubt result in some weight loss. Director Martin Scorsese wanted to visually see the physical toll of such a journey on the actors playing these roles. 
Both Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver complied with the director's wishes. We've trusted that man with our lives. Jesus trusted even worse. Garfield lost 40 pounds and Driver dropped upwards of 51 pounds. He started the process prior to filming but continued to lose weight during the shoot to mimic what the character would have gone through as the voyage continued. No, keep coming back if we stay. They could destroy the entire village and kill you all while we hide. No. Yes, we have no choice, Mokichi. It is the only thing to do. Michael Fassbender, Hunger. We're surrounded by fields of barley. And they dip down into a wee valley where there's a stream and woods running through it. The historical drama Hunger tells the story of the hunger strike that took place amongst Irish Republican prisoners in Northern Ireland in 1981. The man who led that hunger strike was Bobby Sands, portrayed in the film by actor Michael Fassbender. Now, obviously, if the character you're playing goes on a hunger strike, your physical appearance will need to display the effects of said strike. To get to that point, Fassbender, working with a nutritionist, walked four and a half miles and took in just 900 calories a day for 10 weeks. Reports put his total weight loss at 40 pounds. I'm clear of the reasons, though. I'm clear of all the repercussions, but I will act, and I will not stand by and do nothing. Matthew McConaughey, Dallas Buyers Club. I'm Rayo. Congratulations. Both Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto won Academy Awards for their performances in 2013's Dallas Buyers Club. One thing that helped both actors win was how much weight they lost. Their beautiful and emotional performances were no doubt improved by the physical changes they took on in losing weight to play AIDS HIV patients in the 1980s. You got enough for 20 of us? Yep. McConaughey, who weighed in at 183 pounds prior to being cast in the film, dropped down to 136 for the part. Leto basically stopped eating to lose weight quickly and hit a low of 114 pounds. Is that Marcus from Home Ec? I swear to gosh has grown up, my lord. Tom Hanks, cast away. I'm sorry, Wilson! Wilson, I'm sorry! In 1993, Tom Hanks dropped 26 pounds to play an attorney with AIDS suing his former law firm for wrongful termination in the film Philadelphia. In come the strings, and it changes everything. It's like the music, it fills with, with a hope. Seven years later, audiences witnessed Hanks drop pounds again when he was stranded on a deserted island in Castaway. However, before losing the weight, Hanks actually put on 50 pounds to accentuate the subsequent weight loss. After filming much of the movie, the production took a break so Hanks could grow his hair and beard out and lose the weight, which he did, 55 pounds worth. We live and we die by time, don't we? And let's not commit the sin of turning our back on time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Christian Bale, The Machinist. Where is he? Who? You know who. Trevor. Don't. To say that Christian Bale was committed to his performance in 2004's The Machinist would be an understatement. Bale took on the role of an insomniac machinist with the full weight of his talent, and much less weight on his body. Where's the shop steward? He couldn't make it. I shouldn't even be in here without a union rep. See what I mean? We don't know exactly how much he weighed before getting the role, but we do know that it was 62 pounds more than his weight during filming. The psychological thriller is a good film, but it definitely isn't an easy watch, due in no small part to the strikingly emaciated look of its star. What's going on here? I've never seen him before. What are you talking about? Come in here every night, sitting on that same stool, staring at your coffee. Which of these weight loss transformations struck you the most? Let us know in the comments. 